Silver fans, this is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. And hey guys, in this video, the education continues for me as I fire up the old furnace for the third time. And uh, you may have watched my previous Silver Pour videos. I tried one method, I tried a second method. This is my third different method that I'll be trying. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. I sure hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, especially if you're one of the folks in the silver pouring community and you just found me, hey, be sure to subscribe down below. I really appreciate you guys being here. Enjoy the video. Tea. Okay, guys, let's see if we can't turn these boring old buffalo rounds into something kind of cool. And uh, I don't know how many buffalo rounds it'll take. Uh, in the past, I've underestimated. Uh, so this time I'll make sure I have plenty. I'm, I'm gonna try four ounces. I don't, maybe this will be two or two and a half. I don't know. Either way, stick with me and we'll see what we can do. Step one, in order to fit in the old crucible, I've got to bend these in half. There we go. Make it into a taco, huh? Okay, out in the garage at the old two auto melting furnace. And uh, hey, let me turn this sucker on. There we go. Celsius, we need it at 1095. Well, it, the very first time I programmed it, it just kind of stuck there, which is convenient for me. And as I look at the crucible, I kind of peered inside it and I saw something a little shiny. <laughs> A little shiny surprise, a little bit of leftover silver, and there it is right there. <laughs> Toss that sucker back in there, and uh, as well as these right here. Let's hopefully they'll fit. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, in this next step, I'll be using my uh, flask, another one of my Amazon purchases. Uh, for the very first time, I've never used one of these. Uh, and when I say flask, hey, I'm not talking about this kind of flask, if you know what I mean. This is made specifically for sand casting. So I commandeered my wife's uh, cookie tray, and I guess I'll have to replace that one. Um, and what I'm going to do is dump some sand from this bag here that I have uh, to my left. And a bag of sand. Uh, actually, the sand and the... Um, the uh, flask that came in a package deal from Amazon. So I'm gonna pour that in there. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I've done two different methods so far. Uh, in my very first video, I had the sand media uh, basically in a pan and didn't use the flask method. And um, that worked out pretty well, especially considering it was my first pour. I was pleased enough about it and my second pour was uh, in molds and that was uh, an adventure and it was uh, it worked out pretty well I'd say um, you guys if you've seen that video you can be the judge and I do know and here's where I'm you know inexperienced and not quite sure I do know this needs to be squished down pretty good but how am I going to get my model in there if I squish it too hard and make it hard as a rock? Um, so I don't know. I don't know if the, what the happy medium is. Uh, so I'm going to give it like a gentle tap here. But um, on a lot of the videos, and that, that's basically where my education has come through, watching YouTube videos, I do see these guys just like heap it on and then use a scraper like this to scrape off the excess. So let me add a little bit more. But uh, like I said, I do want to be able to get that shark in there. And as I've said in my previous videos, uh, you experts, you guys know what the heck you're doing. Um, you see me making mistakes. Uh, I will not be offended if you make comments and correct me actually I will very much appreciate that because I want to get better this is just the beginning of my silver pouring career 
So, there we go to sand. I, I've been told, uh, or I've learned by watching these videos, is that you have some kind of oil infused in it, and that's what um, makes it uh, a perfect medium for this type of process. Now, here's my shark. I know I need to put this in there, make an imprint. The question is, like, what position? And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to position it upwards like this so that I could pour the uh, silver in um, from the top here. And that way, if there's any, um, you know, malformation or if it's goofed up there on the bottom, as the shark's sitting there on the table, uh, no one will be able to see it or you won't be a, it won't be as obvious. So uh, something like this. Eventually, I'm going to be uh, repeating the process with that other half of the flask on top. And by the way, this is flour. Um, didn't get any baby powder yet. They say it requires a thin little coat. There we go. I don't want too thick. In case you're wondering, um, this is going to be for my wife. Uh, I think I've told you, if you're a longtime viewer, you've, <laughs> my, you know my wife's nickname is Sharky. That goes back way to her childhood when she was the big sister, family of five. And in the Sharks and Minnows game, uh, she was always the shark. And so she, that nickname has stuck. Um, and so this is for Sharky. So I want the silver to pour through here and hit this as like the highest point. And I, I did see a shark like this in one of the coin shops that I visit. I'm like, oh, I would like to have that, but it's just a little pricey for my budget at the time. And so I did not purchase it. <clears throat> okay. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, more sand. Bury this guy. I have been like visualizing this one and dreaming about this one and thinking about it for the longest time. I've been dying to use this flask. Squish it in there. Give it a little tappy tap. I'm kind of nervous here. Here we go. Well, there's an impression. Well, it's kind of be like right there. Uh, you know, when I see Big Red Bullion and some of these other guys, they create like little vents and try and make like a little vent there. A little vent there. They use toothpicks and stuff like that. Oh boy, this whole, this whole process just makes me nervous. My goodness. I hope it stays together. Let me... Clamp these together. Whew, yeah, oh man, this is nerve wracking. Okay, well, as I was uh, waiting for that to warm up and I was really concentrating on my uh, little uh, sand casting pour there in the flask, I had an idea, I had a little silver left over and I had an idea and I'm gonna add some more silver to that crucible for another project. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit nervous about is that the silver currently in there is at 950 degrees Celsius. I don't want to splash, but 
I just wanted to add this extra silver in there. Let's see what happens. Okay, non-eventful, that's what I like. All right, so we'll add this. And I've got a little extra special project for a friend who happens to like bees. I've got a mold right here going, as you can see, with the flame on it, just to warm that baby up. And I'm gonna open this up and attempt this pour that uh, you saw me create. I, this is also kind of a backup for me. I thought, well, in case the, the shark is a flop, uh, at least I've got a mold there ready to rock and roll. So let me make sure. Oh yeah, everything's melted good. Ready? One, two, three, here we go. There's that. Now, wow, look at that. Oh, look at that solidifying. Here we go. So this is the important side. And I think I could do something with that. I did forget to tap it. <laughs> I was so shook up about pouring it, but uh, I think I might've had a success here. The big question is, what do I have here? Okay, I think I'm gonna wind up owing my wife an entire collection of pans and stuff. Oops there. Uh, move that. That's hot. All right. Well, moment of truth. Here we go. It's kind of warm to the touch here. There's that. There's something that resembles a shark. Let's see if he's got all of his body parts. Hmm. Might be easier just to do this. He seems to have cooled down. I've got a tail there. I don't know. Do I, do I actually have a shark here? Man, it's cold here. Well, the more I clean, the more I like. Let's see how this thing cleans up. It looks like all the fins are there. Maybe we got something good here. Let me go back in the house where it's warm and not 25 degrees. Okay, back in the warm house. Uh, first of all, okay, not too shabby. And we've got some cleanup to do, but I think we can work with this. And this kind of like resembles a shark diving down into the reef uh, for its prey or something like that. I don't know how well you can see it. But I've definitely got some cleanup to do. And uh, we'll do that together. Here we go. Let me start with the B. Take my handy dandy clippers here. Mm. Whoa, where's that silver? It's at least 50 cents worth of silver. I'll have to, oh, there it is. All right, put that away. It's kind of like uh, the uh, medical shows uh, where you know the doctor takes the bullet out of the patient and you hear that little cling. There we go. Now, what do I do about this? Guys, if you're experienced, you let me know. Do I sand that down? What the heck do I do about that big blob there? Oof. Oh, what the hell? Here we go. Okay. After all that, let me show you what I got. Um, the, the big blob has just kind of been knocked down a bit still not perfect maybe it gives it a little bit of character i don't know but i think that's as far as i'm going to get before i toss it in the old tumbler and i uh, get it looking nice and spiffy and then stamp it i guess my vents did okay oh boy, oh boy. 
boy. Gotta be careful not to lose that valuable silver. Looking more and more like a shark. Um, how do I get that off? Back to the hacksaw? All right, I think I'm going to have to attach this piece. <laughs> After a crap load of sawing, I was able to get uh, this piece detached from uh, our little shark here. Got a lot more cleaning up to do before she's done. Some little edges up there and everything. And uh, this part that I clipped off. So, more work to do. Oh, let's not forget. More silver for another day. Okay, this is about as good as I'm going to get it before I throw it in the tumbler. And uh, hey, this might be the best shot you ever see of it because once it goes in the tumbler, I don't know if it's going to get ruined or not, but hey, I'm pretty pleased. You, yeah, for starters, you can tell it's a shark. Uh, and I don't know how good it's going to get shined up, but I got that part off that was connected for the pour. Um, and we'll see how shiny this little guy can get. And um, I'm really pleased with it, to be honest with you. I hope it doesn't get ruined in the tumbler. Let's, uh, let's see what that bee looks like. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me show you. All right. There's the shiny bee. I am not going to tone this one. I think I'm going to keep it pretty and shiny like this. And I hate the back didn't come out too bad either. Uh, plenty of room for stamping. And that little bottom part, hey, maybe that just gives it a little character. Overall, I'm pleased with it. Let me throw that shark in the water <laughs> and we'll get back to this. Oh boy, I'm so nervous about this. I'm very curious as to what this bee weighs. And the last one I did was 3.6 ounces. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is be a little bit less. This is on ounces. Troy, here we go. 3.49, so let's call it 3.4. Boom. So you guys are getting an actual uh, double feature today. Uh, in case you're wondering about this one, uh, this one is going to a friend. Two. Okay, not the best stamping job in the world, but you've got my little bee there with a T. 3.4 ounces, Troy. 0.999 fine silver. All right, now the waiting game for that to see how it came out. Okay, this is it. Let's turn this off and let's see what we got here. And this has been a fun one, I have to tell you. I really didn't know if that shark would come out at all, and lo and behold, it did. Let's see how shiny and pretty we can make it for Mrs. T. Got the old Dawn there. All right. Get the shark out of the water. Oh. Let me show you. All right. Hey, I am pleased with this. Let's see. Let's, can we focus? There we go. For starters, you can tell it's a shark. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's got some little imperfections here or there. And this is the part where I cut off that uh, connection to the uh, yeah, on, on the pore. But overall, it's got all its fins. I'm pretty pleased with it, guys. I don't know. You tell me what you think. First try, I have a feeling the next one will be even better. I'm happy with this. The big question is, will she be happy? And before I give it to her, I was wondering what it 
ways. And let's see here. Turn it on. We're on ounces, Troy. Hmm. <laughs> 1.99. Why, just like one less little stroke of the file, and it would have been two ounces right on the dot. But it's all good. You know what? Honestly, uh, I don't even know. I, how the heck could I possibly even stamp this thing without, you know, how do you put it down and pound on it? No, I don't think so. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it uh, as is and just know it's about two ounces of silver. And I'll remember for the next time, too, about two ounces or so. Hey, that was quite an adventure. Thanks for joining me today. And special thank you to these folks, these channel members, who support my efforts. Mm -hmm.